If you are new to my channel and want to catch up, you can check out my YouTube playlist titled Pure Facts and Prophecy or the same category on john1429.org to watch the seven previous very short videos of this series exposing the long prophesied beast system in Rome. This next prophecy deals with the historic fact that the popes were in fact prophesied to torture and kill hundreds of millions of Christians for exactly 1,260 years during what history now calls the Inquisition. This was to be their first reign of terror. When speaking of the popes in Rome, the prophets Daniel and John declared this in the infallible word of God. Daniel 7.25 says, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think the changed times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Revelation 12.6 says, And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. Revelation 13.5 then says, And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. The forty-two months of Revelation 13.5, the thousand two hundred and threescore days of Revelation 12.6, and the time and times and dividing a time of Daniel 7.25 actually equal the same period of time in history. And so just as 42 months equates to three and a half years, a time which is one year, a times which is two years, and a dividing a time is actually half a year, thereby totaling three and a half years once again. And then the 42 biblical months of 30 days each does in fact equal the 1,203 scored days, or 1,260 days. The simple math is that 42 biblical months, or three and a half years, equals 1,260 literal days. Now, yes, some do believe that 42 months does not equal 1,260 days, because all our months do not equal 30 days each. But we are looking at biblical prophecies here, and the Bible clearly states a year was 360 days, where in the modern calendar of today states, the year is 365 days long. But this actually has to do with yet another prophecy found in Daniel 7.25, where it says, this Antichrist will think to change times and laws. I go into much detail regarding that prophecy on my times and laws changed by Rome page for those seeking a little bit more historic info on all this. Well, as prophesied, the Vatican changed the calendars, exactly as the prophet Daniel predicted, so as to hopefully prevent students of prophecy from discovering who the real Antichrist was during Rome's first reign of terror. Forcing an unbiblical calendar on society made it very difficult to match the prophetic dates Daniel and John declared regarding what the popes would do in history. And yes, this is also why Rome made owning a Bible illegal and punishable by death during her first reign of terror. Satan knew God's people would eventually figure it all out, but he needed time to set certain false doctrines and traditions, and even false prophecies, that he can use to confuse the masses in these last days, so as to have an easy way of enforcing his mark in the coming days. Satan did all he could to prevent the truth from being made known during that time. But as also prophesied in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3, the man of sin was eventually revealed to God's people anyway, so as to warn the masses, as we're doing right now. In prophecy, the Lord uses biblical months because he is the one that wrote the prophecies in the first place, and being God, he does not have to bow to what mankind claims was changed in any way, shape, or form. Rome changed the calendar centuries after the Bible was written, and so we cannot use their man-made calendar as any basis in biblical fact today. Since we only find the prophecies in the Bible, we need to stick with the Bible calendar of 30 days for each month when calculating the prophecies that have time limits set on them from God. As planned by Satan, when using Rome's calendar to study prophecy, the truth is hidden. But when we use the biblical calendar, we see a perfect match. Check it out. The Word of God states in Ezekiel 4, 6 that I have appointed thee each day for a year, and in Numbers 14, 34, it also says each day for a year. So according to Ezekiel 4, 6 and Numbers 14, 34, the 1,260 days we found in Daniel and Revelation is actually 1,260 years, 
that papal Rome would reign, wherein they wear out the saints by killing hundreds of millions of Christians during a 1,260-year reign of terror. That being said, is there a 1,260-year period in time that matches with the prophecies of Daniel and John? Yes, there is. But first, we need to find out when the Roman Catholic Church became a woman on a beast and capable of ruling in both the political as well as the religious realm so as to have absolute power over the people. Why? Well, the popes needed to have control over the political society as well as the church so as to be able to pass laws making their killings legal under their so-called religious laws. In so doing, she will have her full power to wear out the saints, according to Revelation. So when did the Roman Catholic Church become a church and state power to have that absolute power prophecy says they will have? Well, Vigilus ascended the papal chair in the year 538 AD under the military protection of Belsarius. History reveals the papacy began its long prophesied reign in the exact year 538 AD upon Emperor Justinian's decree and under the military protection of Belsarius. And since the Bible says the beast's first reign of terror will last exactly 1,260 years, which then ends by receiving a prophesied mortal wound, as per the prophecy of Revelation 13.3, did this actually happen? Again, it's just a matter of simple mathematics. If the prophecy is correct and the day for a year math is prophetically sound, then 1,260 years after 538 AD, the beast in Rome must receive a moral wound that ends its absolute power for a period of time, of which is yet another prophecy regarding its second and final reign of terror that I'll be sharing in a future video. And so if you add 1,260 years to the year the Roman Catholic Church began its absolute power as a church and state government in 538 AD, you will arrive in the exact year of 1798 AD. So according to the prophecy, we are told the first reign of terror of the popes in Rome will only last until the year 1798. So did it actually end in 1798 and how? In 1798, General Berthier made his entrance into Rome, abolishing the papal government and established a secular one. And so there you have it. That's exactly 42 prophetic months, 1,260 years, or a time and times and dividing a time after the papacy began its powerful reign that the Pope shall go into captivity and killed by the sword, which is defined as by military as per the prophecy found in Revelation 13.10. This historic event, which was done by Napoleon by sending in General Berthier, not only confirms the day for a year is the proper biblical method of calculating prophetic time, as this is an exact match to what was prophesied and to what history records. And it also glorifies the Lord our God before the eyes of non-believers. Christian prophecy is that accurate. Thank you for watching. God bless.